I'm sad to learn this because these guys, you know, built their business from nothing. And then they had to start all over. And they say just like, you know, emotionally, of course, being raided by the Secret Service, you know, being accused of fraud. Like, I mean, you know, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. I'd be devastated. Devastated. You know, they said it really hurt their business because people were questioning, like, well, who's telling the truth here? It's not good, right? It's not good. So go to Marco Marcos mm. in West Hollywood and have a um, huge costume made for your concert or yeah. your drag show. And then go to Patrick and pull and buy a dress. They just dressed Peppa from Salt and Peppa. Um, yeah. Well, okay. Well, yeah. I mean, maybe you and I are just, uh, we defend Erica to no end. You know what we need to talk about? Oh, oh. Months ago, when I sat down with my friend Jax, friend Jax Taylor, he was like, okay, I have something in the works, blah. I'm like, please, there's no show in the works. Everyone says they have a show in the works. Well, I don't know. It's not confirmed by E yet, but I mean, this show that apparently he's in with Danielle Staub and all these villains. I've had Corinna Limpos from The Bachelor on my show. So, I mean, apparently there's going to be like Villain House on E!, and I don't know if it's going to be Big Brother. We're going to vote someone out. I don't know if it's going to be Dr. Drew style. And we're going to like, you know, counseling for for the people that are villains. But I mean, Jax and Danielle Staub and Corinne from The Bachelor and Rachel Riley, I love from Big Brother. She was also in The Traders. Apparently, we're going to have this house of villains. I mean, it's not confirmed like by it. E. I kind of like it, right? I do. I do like it. They're all, like you said, they're all going to live big brother style, all kinds of villains. I believe there's a 90 day fiance villain on there that I'm excited about. Again, like you said, it's not confirmed, but I love the concept. I love the concept. Um, Maybe this is what Jax told me he was in the mix for, you know, in something. And I mean, listen, I loved Jax. We bonded. Um, I love Stab. It's a great idea. Apparently, it's going to be hosted by Anna, right? The scam artist, Anna. Yes, yes. So this is all, I mean, I hope it's true. But, you know, let's everyone just shh, 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 shh. take a breath, guys. It is not confirmed yet. It's not confirmed yet, but it could be true. And I hope it is. That's all. That's all. I, yeah, I'm I'm hoping to. Now, it is... <sighs> I don't know if it means anything or not. It's a little bit strange that I feel like some of the people on the show are confirming it's out, but the network isn't. Usually you get like a network drop first and then and like who, that. Yeah, and who really confirmed that it was out? Because Jax hasn't that I saw and Danielle hasn't. Um, Actually, I don't know that anyone ha- except maybe maybe it's just bloggers. I thought they got a quote from somebody potentially on the show. Let me look. But um, you're right. I, I, I haven't seen it really confirmed by any legit sources. Right. Yeah. Danielle. I love the idea. Hmm. I love the idea. Listen, you know, we have some people that have, and apparently New York from uh, Tiffany Pollard is going to be on it. Look, I mean. Well, this says that reality blurb is saying that, um, Jax has confirmed it. The following reality star villains are confirmed to be filming house of villains, which will be airing on E Anna Delvey is the rumored host. Yeah. Oh, my God. I hope they have Amorosa. I have like, such a crazy story with Amorosa. Oh, well, uh, she's apparently in the cast. Yeah. She's apparently in the cast. Love Amorosa. Uh, what do you got to say about Amorosa? Shortly after the report was shared on Instagram, Jax um, responded to a fan who asked him, is this true? And Jax wrote, sure is. Again, nobody, no network has posted it. So I don't know. Uh, you can get in a lot of trouble for confirming something. Yeah, without them dropping the release. Um, Omarosa came to my live podcast show in Washington, D.C. at the D.C. Improv. She, um, you know, needed a talent fee to appear. Okay, no problem. She would appear for 15 minutes only. When she did the show, she came out. She set down her purse. She put a timer on for exactly 15 minutes with an alarm. And when that thing buzzed, she walked off stage. And she did, she was booed basically the entire show. She did predict that Donald Trump would become president. She was heavily booed for that. And at the time, they were friends before they, you know, she secretly recorded him and everything. Um, and then we'd gone, we'd had like a pre-party. She she and her friends racked up a $500 bill that we didn't agree to. And basically she told me if I didn't pay it, that she would sue me. So it was a very eventful night. <laughs> she like literally sat down and it's like, did she say goodbye? I'm no, leaving. Said, 
No, she got up. Upsta- she uh, oh, maybe she did say bye. I'm leaving. I'll see you in the White House or something like that. How much did you guys pay her? Fifteen hundred bucks. Yeah, and um, for fifteen I, minutes, a so hundred dollars a minute. She never sued. She never um accused. She never said that she would sue me to my face. What was the five hundred for? Like her that was entourage. A bar tab. Yeah, that was sure. like a bar tab that she racked up, and then she just left. And the restaurant said to me, "Are you going to take care of this?" And I, I said to her group, "Oh, you guys, you had a you like racked up five hundred dollars in champagne and appetizers," and they said, "You're picking that up." <laughs> I said, "I am." <laughs> Okay. This is, by the way, when the podcast made like no money, like I was using like savings, like I I had no money at this point. Um, And but it it did generate great. It generated great ratings. So it was fine. And she did make a prediction. Wow. She's a tough one. She's a tough one to uh, to have on. I really, yeah, no, she's tough. I don't think she does anything if there's no money involved. That's my honest opinion. Yeah. Like if we wanted, I just don't think she does things like unless there's money, honestly. Would you, I mean, have you had any interactions with her? Has she ever been on your show? My team has tried to book her and like, it just never happens. I even, I even bought her book. Oh, wow. I had her sign her book once when I met her, but like, listen, I love the underdog Her, you know, the underdog. You know, well, she um, look, there is something she is as President uh, Donald Trump, former President Trump said she was like one of the greatest apprentice players of all time. Um, He like loved her. She was such a shark. I mean, people like people ride for her. They they love her. And I give her credit. I mean, she's gone pretty far in her career, but she's just a person. I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's she's interesting. She's interesting, right? <laughs> yes. She's interesting. Um, you don't know, like, know what you're going to get. You know, you don't know what you're going to get. But maybe, maybe I'm just not uh, seasoned enough for her. I hope it all works out. Um, what was I going to say? Um, what else would you want to talk about today? Well, I'm curious what you think of Robin Dixon's alleged mistress. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Okay, I don't know. I forgot where we heard that, but, and then, you know, whoever speak up, I'm not trying to take credit, but here's the problem I have. Like, there was no name associated and there's no picture. I wonder if so, real. Do we think that's the real mistress? No I mean, picture, voice. Guys, you really, and legally, like, you know, if you noticed, like a lot of big papers didn't run it. I don't think. Again, I'm not trying to shade whoever spoke to this person. I just literally, like, there's a lot going on here, guys. So uh, I don't like these blind items. Like, I don't like it. Like, I heard.